Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of The Energy of Slaves by Leonard Cohen. So this is a poetry collection. I don't think it even has a blurb that I can read to you. Um, but I generally find with poetry anyway, the best thing to do is just to read you some sort of selections from it to see whether you enjoy it. Leonard Cohen obviously celebrates singer-songwriter, a big fan of his music. I was very sad when he passed away. Uh, it does have an index as well, but it's basically an index of first lines. We'll just go through. As I say, um, because it's an index of first lines, not all of these poems have titles. So I'm just gonna read stuff to you and you can make of that as you will. So, this is the only poem I can read. I am the only one can write it. Others seem to think the past can guide them. My own music is not merely naked, it is open-legged. It is like a cunt and like a cunt must needs be house proud. I didn't kill myself when things went wrong. I didn't turn to drugs or teaching. I tried to sleep. But when I couldn't sleep, I learned to write. I learned to write what might be read on nights like this by one like me. This one does have a title. This is called Portrait of a Girl. She sits behind the wooden shutters on a very hot day. The room is dark, the photographs gloomy. She is profoundly worried that her thighs are too big and her ass fat and ugly. Also, she is too hairy. The lucky American girls are not hairy. She sweats too much. There is a fine mist caught on the dark hairs above her mouth. I wish I could show her what such hair and haunches do for one like me. Unfortunately, I don't know who she is, or where she lives, or if indeed she lives at all. There is no information about this person, except in these lines. And let me make it clear, as far as I'm concerned, she has no problem whatsoever. I thought that was beautiful and quite forward thinking considering this was early 70s. Kind of fits in a lot with, you know, the way that beauty standards are moving today and I'm all for that, you know? I did not know until you walked away, you had the perfect ass. Forgive me for not falling in love with your face or your conversation. I'm gonna send that to my friend actually. <laughs> Here is a poem about penis, or at least I assume so. Uh, you can draw your own conclusions from this as well. I don't know what to call it, he said. Call it your friend. My friend. She held it, not as tightly as he wanted. God, it looks so archaic, she said. You provide the furniture if you want to live here. Do you like this song? I wrote it in a mood that I would never be seen dead in. Put your chair where your mouth is, and I welcome your opinion. The sea lions live a wonderful life. I wish we could leave them alone. They will cause us to make love in rubber suits. It has been said that I am not the leader of my generation. There is ample evidence. Not only is the dog friendly, he believes he is human. My case is similar. I want to be left alone in your great envious heart. This is called On Hearing That Irving Layton Was Kissed By Allen Ginsberg At A Toronto Poetry Reading. Uh, and as a big fan of Ginsberg, gotta read it. Not to alarm you, Irving, but I have it from a friend of the deceased Irish poet that soon after he received the blessings of Allen Ginsberg, Patrick Kavanagh died. The killers that run the other countries are trying to get us to overthrow the killers that run our own. I, for one, prefer the rule of our native killers. I am convinced the foreign killer will kill more of us than the old familiar killer does. Frankly, I don't believe anyone out there really wants us to solve our social problems. I base this all on how I feel about the man next door. I just hope he doesn't get any uglier. Therefore, I am a patriot. I don't like to see a burning flag because it excites the killers on either side to unfortunate excess, which goes on gaily quite unchecked until everyone is dead. And just this final poem I want to read to you. There is nothing here except the shadow of an occasional DC3 nobody wants to be on. A Nazi war criminal visited us last night, a very old man in a silk parachute. We still love beauty, which the lizards express for us. Spinnakers of red membrane blow from their throats. We'd like to write more often, but we are busy with the disciplines, psychic self-defense and other martial arts. We have abandoned free love, and we have established the capital penalty for certain crimes. There is no longer static between men and women. Our hospitality is simple and formal. We use no intoxicants. We salute those who come and go. We are naked with our friends. So yeah, The Energy of Slaves by Leonard Cohen. I love Cohen's poetry, I love his songs as well, so perhaps that's no surprise. I gave this a pretty solid four out of five. It's one of the poetry collections that I've enjoyed the most in probably the last three to six months or so, so that's good. Um, for, some, for whatever reason, I've not been reading as much poetry or even writing as much poetry as I used to, so hopefully this will kind of get me back in the zone. But yeah, The Energy of Slaves, four out of five. So there we have it, that's what I made of The Energy of Slaves by Leonard Cohen. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book, if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.